I'm David Carson. I'm the laboratory manager here in the science group at the Getty Conservation Institute. So people look at paintings in different ways depending on their background. When I look at a painting, I'm looking at the colors, I'm looking at the saturation, and I'm thinking of how those colors actually make their way onto the canvas. I'm thinking in three dimensions what that paint might look like in a cross section to be able to see down all the way to the canvas how many layers of paint the artists use to get that particular shade of blue or green. I find that very interesting. Most people don't realize that we have university-grade laboratories here at the GCI. Instrumentation that we use to analyze materials that come from works of art, architectural monuments, or other projects that we have going on. The instrumentation we have here in the laboratories are what you find in a general university laboratory. They're not necessarily made for the conservation field, but rather for pharmaceuticals, industrial manufacturing, and other processes. I'm standing in the analytical laboratories which specifically do work on organic materials. We also have laboratories that deal with inorganic materials, mechanisms of decay such as lighting, and laboratories that are dedicated specifically for works of art that are here at our museum. 